All right, so now let's work on making some of these button, these controls here work. Let's start with the uh, start button, uh, sorry, the stop button. Okay, so let's go to our index.php. I'm sorry, now let's go to log.php. And we need to do some things to these buttons to make them unique um, and also something we can trigger them by. So let's give them a new class. We can't give them an ID really because we need this to be able to run over and over and over and, you, and IDs need to be unique. So ETN stop. And that's how we're going to identify to trigger an event here. But we need a way to make this unique um, or to call up the specific record we're removing. So let's do data. And if you're not familiar with the data attribute, this is pretty nice. This has been a real help uh, being part of HTML now. And we'll say data ID equals, and we will spit out the task ID. So copy that. Put that here. Change this key to ID. Okay, so now we can say anytime button stop is clicked, go ahead and stop this record with this data ID. Okay. So let's hop over to our JavaScript file. Right now we need to do an on click statement here. However, we need to do this um, in a different way so that we can make sure that it's it's checking the data because our data is going to be loaded dynamically. And if you've ever messed with loading dynamic data with JavaScript, you might have noticed sometimes it can be difficult to actually manipulate it once it's been loaded um, into the DOM. So we're going to target log, which if you remember, this is the T body. So everything in log on click comma and then the actual item that needs to be clicked btn dash stop comma function semicolon there we go all right so now we need to get the ID. So bar ID equals, we're going to target this dot data ID. So this is going to grab the data ID attribute, which if you remember, it's going to hold the ID of the task. So we know how to target this one for deletion. Okay, and then we need to run the Ajax dot Ajax. And then in here, URL log dot PHP. Um, we're gonna put in a mode, which we'll call this mode to stop. We're going to need to send that ID as well. So we're going to do stop and ID equals and then concatenate with a plus ID. And then we'll go ahead and do a success function. And if it's successful, go ahead and rebuild. that. Now we need to create the case over here in log. Come up here above new, do the case, and we called it stop. Put our break. All we need to do, this is pretty simple, is let's go ahead and assign ID equals ID because we're going to send that through and then we can reference that in the array ID and then we want 
want date end equals, and then we just need a timestamp for this moment right now. And then all we need to do is resave that array. Save data. Pretty easy. Save that. And if all goes well, it's going to refresh. We hit stop on one of these that doesn't have an end time. There you go. Now it does. Pretty cool.